This story now, smoking tobacco is known to, be, known to be detrimental to health, yet a lot of people continue to light up. It's extremely difficult to quit smoking because of the highly addictive nature of nicotine present in the tobacco. This month marks World No Tobacco Month, and to speak on this, we're joined by Dr. Fundi Lenyati, who's the chief executive of the Proactive Health Solutions. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Maybe let's start with a broad sense of the... Uh, um, the implications of smoking. I think many people don't take smoking as seriously as they would taking other harder drugs or alcohol and the like. Well, um, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to share on this matter. Yes, uh, the month of March is now considered the, the month of anti-tobacco awareness. Uh, many people, um, you know, they don't take um, the habit of smoking cigarettes or even cigars for that matter you know seriously in terms of the damage it does uh, to their health now there's been enough evidence i mean smoking has been there for centuries and there's a lot of research that has been done um, you know by medical scientists and there's enough evidence to show that smoking does affect you know uh, or cause uh, problems in basically all the different organs of our bodies. Um, and so that is the reason why we continue as the medical fraternity, uh, you know, to discourage people from smoking because the risks associated with smoking are just too much, you know, in the lungs, um, in the heart, um, you know, blood pressure, the risk of blood pressure, the risk of, of, of um, you know, a diabetes mellitus type 2, um, you know, the risk of cancer, I can mention quite many, many, many serious issues. And so really, um, it is important that we all try and rethink, um, you know, our habit of smoking. Mm. Why is it so difficult to quit smoking? I mean, I mentioned in my intro the issue of nicotine, but perhaps the components yes. that make up this nicotine and why it is so difficult for a person to then just not light up ever again. Well, um, you know, there's many, you know, chemicals that are part of a cigarette. You know, the last report I read was it's more than 7,000 different chemicals that are found in an average cigarette. Now, but the one that is most problematic um, is nicotine. Uh, nicotine is a very, very addictive uh, chemical, um, and it is the you know uh, you know when we think of addiction, again we never think of smoking as an addiction. But actually, you know, um, just like people, they have addiction to alcohol you know, addiction to illicit drugs, cocaine, and, and all of these other hard illicit drugs. Smoking is one of the commonest, you know, uh, forms of addiction. Uh, and many people who even realize that uh, they are not doing their health any favor, um, when they try to quit smoking, it is a mission. And many of them, they actually fail in doing so, thanks to the addictive, uh, you know, abilities of uh, nicotine that is within the cigarettes that they smoke, which you also find in, in cigars as well. No, absolutely. Talk us through the issues around vaping and uh, smoking hubbly bubbly and um, the um, impact that these could have when we're talking about smoking and tobacco. Well, you know, in the last decade, we have seen the emergence of uh, vaping um, you know, and the proponents of vaping are actually pushing vaping as a healthier, um, you know, option to smoke. Looks like we've lost uh, the doctor there. Uh, he was talking to us about uh, the smoking and uh, no tobacco month, actually, and the implications of uh, smoking on the human body. But also, he was just going to get into a part of the conversation about whether vaping is actually a safe alternative. I have the suspicion he was going to say no, but we were missed out on his explanation there. Hopefully, we can get him back so he can uh, finish off those insights for us. And then.